Testosterone is secreted by the ovaries and is synthesized from DHEA that's secreted from your adrenal glands. Most of us know testosterone is essential for strong libido, but did you know that testosterone is also necessary for our mood? Testosterone helps motivate us and ward off depression. I call it the wake up, kick ass, repeat hormone. It's also essential for us to maintain a healthy body composition. Testosterone helps us build lean body mass. Having more muscle mass increases our basal metabolic rate, which means we burn more calories daily. It's also crucial for bone and brain health, as well as immune system regulation. In fact, testosterone is often an overlooked piece in reversing autoimmunity. We'll be talking more about birth control tomorrow, but I wanna mention it here because it has such a huge impact on testosterone, even after you quit. Women using hormonal birth control typically experience a 50% reduction in testosterone production, which is why it can be helpful for some women experiencing acne. In addition, birth control alters your liver at the genetic level to increase sex hormone binding globulin. This is actually a mechanism to safeguard your body against all the excess hormones birth control delivers. The problem is, this protein binds any testosterone your body manages to make. The result, bye-bye libido. Unfortunately, your sex hormone binding globulin levels may remain elevated even after you discontinue birth control. A study in the Journal of Sexual Medicine revealed that women who were on the pill for at least six months had higher levels of sex hormone binding globulin than women who had never taken it. And these levels remained elevated even several months later. Women who opted to remain on the pill had about four times the normal amount of sex hormone binding globulin. While these levels may eventually decrease, they will never return to the pre-pill levels. These findings have caused researchers to speculate if long-term exposure to synthetic estrogen in the pill can alter a woman's genes to continue to make higher levels of sex hormone binding globulin for life, which of course could have a long-term effect on your libido. When your libido is low, you sometimes forget what it's like to have a strong and healthy sex drive, and you can lose interest in sex altogether. I want you to understand your interest in sex is an important gauge of your health. If your libido is missing, there's a root cause. Equally important are health-promoting orgasms. This is why I prescribe orgasms all day, every day in my clinic, and I'm going to be prescribing them to you as well, and helping you get your libido back. You can tell a lot about your hormonal health by your libido and your interest in sex. Here's a little secret I'm going to let you in on. A fertile female body is one that has robust libido and killer orgasms. So regardless if you wanna make a baby or not, we need to make sure your libido is strong and orgasms are plenty. Besides feeling amazing, orgasms have incredible health benefits. They can reduce stress and anxiety, increase circulation to your pelvis, and improve autoimmune disease, menstrual cycles, and fertility. They also can give you glowing skin, result in better sleep, and relieve migraines. In fact, studies have shown that orgasms can provide complete relief in 47% of people experiencing migraines. Orgasms can even help you live longer. When you have an orgasm, you release oxytocin, often called the love hormone, because it increases your feelings of affection or bonding with your partner. It also promotes social bonding in general. Oxytocin can counter the negative effects of cortisol, so it can help relieve stress. It can even sharpen your intuition, and it may be why some women are so successful. See, orgasms are even good for your career. 